welcome to stream four with myself only pixel and fog we're ready to take you through what's going to be the final day of group stages here and uh, to kick it off we have hellraisers versus invictus gaming um obviously games important for both you know ig looking to to make sure that they're comfortable in the upper bracket echelon of the group stages and for hellraisers this could be do or die they are right at the bottom of the moment believe one and eleven on the score they need those wins Otherwise, they are going to be relying on Cloud9 to slip up, which, I mean, as things have gone, may not be the worst thing to rely on, but you don't want to leave it up to chance. Yeah, definitely. Definitely still a slight chance for them. However, yeah, it's IG. These guys need their wins. They're going to be coming into this one really hard this morning. Every game. Every uh, game matters at this point for all these teams. And they've got up a Boko Rauf spirit. So, whew, good start. That is a good start indeed. I mean, we saw yeah, Hellraiser's going for the Nyx Assassin, the Lich. It's understandable. Yeah. CM first pick. Actually, something we've not been seeing a lot of. Oh, the change up. CM tied to open. What, what an opener here from Outrisers. They have completely yeah. switched the board. This is nothing from what they've ran recently. They okay. just completely want to change everything that they're kind of playing and maybe go for more of a team fight style and gathering style, is what this is already telling me. First pick, two pick Tidehunter. They want to be able to take straight team fights. And they don't want to have to worry about like IG being like a point where Hellraiser is just like, man, we can't take fights because we don't have proper team fight. That's what this is telling me already, especially Tide versus Earth Spirit. Yeah, like, yeah, the Tide Earth Spirit thing is is very nice indeed for the Tide. Yeah, it's removing very, the silences. Yeah, yeah, easy for him to get the ravage off in the fights, and Earth Spirit's got to be very careful. Yeah, and he's How he goes in. Earth Spirit roams around a lot, of course. Hero that doesn't really stay in the safe lane, so Tide Hunter can do quite well versus some dual most dual lanes, so he could actually get a good amount of experience or force the Earth Spirit to stay top. IG now with this second pick. We'll see where they want to go with it. No reason to change things up too much. And uh, indeed, they won. De Death Profit coming through. Straight comfort. Slightly earlier pick than sometimes we see, but uh, as we know, they if teams want it, they do have to take it. Will be likely to be banned. Yeah. And it's, I mean, in the first two, it, it makes sense because people have a man in third, fourth, but it's also because yeah. it's paired up with the Earth Spirit. It's the, okay. it's that, incre yeah, that dual gank mid is absurd when Earth Spirit rolls in if you get Spirit Siphoned. There's a lot of pressure on enemy mid laner. But well, I guess with the reveal at this stage, you know, Harris has got a lot of time to, to think about what they want to do about that mid lane. Yeah. Get something sure that's, yeah, as you say, is going to deal with this pretty nasty killing potential that IG are going to have there. Five seconds remaining. Yeah, because we've seen a lot of like the pucks and stuff like being True. mid a lot of these times, but puck versus death prop or spirit. You can, you can definitely be you can definitely be killed. You have to really watch yeah, your orbs. It's hard. There's a lot of silence there. Yeah, if you use an orb aggressively, you get rolled on, spirit siphon, chase potential is too high. Yeah, I mean, what, Ooh, what do you pick against that? I mean, it's it is going to be such a nasty lane. <laughs> AA to be banned out. Weaver, in quick succession from Hellraiser is taken out as well. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it limits a lot of the options for the mid lane to be like a safe hero, like any like solo hero or anyone that's not really. Just a strong laner. It's like Templar Assassin, ideally you'd think a strong laner. Not versus this. Nope. And there's so many ways of breaking refraction. Remove yeah. that hero from the board. Probably someone that what can else is avoid. That? The Queen of Pains and Pucks are probably like the most comfortable and easiest ones. But still, you it's know, a lot of say, silence that you're yeah, playing it's too. It's still yeah. hard. Like, they can still get you. For the nature of the game, probably someone who can team fight with their team, though. Someone like that. Get involved pretty early. Since they, you know, they've tied on her. Maybe they even go for some type of, like, push thing they can kind of I don't know if they want to do that but they can kind of sack the mid lane you know put Dragon Knight there the thing is the Death Prophet Earth Spirit kind of just crushes that too hard do we never see um, Razor being picked up to go against the Death Prophet like um, shouldn't that work you've, you've got the, the it, counter it suck and you have the, the whole if she tries going on you with the Cypher she's going to get slowed down you're going to steal a lot of damage and I imagine you know after at least a second or two of stealing with the Static Link you can hurt her more than she's healing up and hurting you Spirit Siphon's pretty, pretty. I mean, I guess it is pretty absurd. Yeah. yeah, it must be. I was probably close, isn't it? It's the probably rate. pretty close. But the thing yeah. is that you can, you know, once you get higher levels of Spirit Siphon, you can put on a creep that's next to you as well True. as you're diving yeah. him. So, but these guys do love. They love, love, love that razor. But this is more likely going to be that mid laner. Okay. And push the waves out. Lena can get dove though pretty easily by our Spirit. Yeah. If they, again, if they, yeah, if they get on top of her with that silence, she is not going to have the chance to react. But at the same time, you know, if the Earth Spirit's slightly off of his rolls and, and doesn't hit the silence or the smash, then Lena's got the potential to turn around. Good yeah. stun and a, a couple of nukes, and suddenly the Earth Spirit has to, has to start running away. And it's always good to have a uh, heavy burst versus Death Prophet. You don't want to have whittle damage yeah. over time. You want to have someone that can just chunk her down, 
during that exorcism. And she, and she can play the lane quite safe, you know. Yeah. She she has that new potential to, to push the wave back out if it's getting pressured in. She's got a CM on her side, so she can afford to be a little more liberal with throwing the spells out there. So, if she plays it safe enough, could be alright. Disruptor! Actually, gonna be picked up the pick of Margie. Great counter the Tidehunter. Yes. Yeah, of course, you can't remove, you can't crack and shell on yeah. Disruptor Storm. Now there's, I mean, all three heroes, massive amounts of silence and team fight as well on the side of IG. Very threatening lineup. Ten seconds remaining. Victus Gaming. Kalinx. 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 Not a hero we see much of. We've definitely seen it once already. Who played yeah, it? Yeah, we've seen it a few so, times. It's been in a couple of games. Yeah. Okay. I think I saw even a mid clinks coming out from somebody uh, two days ago. I want to say. I'm actually gonna check how much it's been fit. I mean, I feel it's. I I don't I don't know if I like it here. I mean, there's a lot of silence. You picked it into a disrupt. I feel like the disruptor's really nice against the clinks. You know, clinks obviously has that great movement speed, but you get dusted in thunderstrike. He he's gonna be able to glimpse you back into the field. And there's going to be this period of the game where he's going to be relatively squishy. I don't. I feel this could be. This could be a tricky clicks game. Yeah, it could be. They've got. They've least... got the lockdown. You know, they've got three silences. All these three yeah. heroes can, you know, make things very hard for the clinks in these team fights. Not super reliable stuns, though. I mean, if they sure. do get the glimpse on the him stuns, and they put him in position, yeah. that can be great. Stuns aren't super reliable, and the nice thing is clicks is at least heavy burst damage as well as Alina, right? Which if you eat a creep and you're at a decent pace in the game. But yeah, Klinks is a weird hero to mm. place just because of yeah. You always have to have Death Pact running, even though it's longer cool or longer duration now. Still, sometimes a bit awkward. I mean, look how tiny he is. Yeah, he is, isn't he? In this, <laughs> he's smaller than the CM. CM's not even like in the in the game. Look at the Tide Hunter anchor, anchor is just, just completely covering blocking her. her. She's <laughs> like, nah, CM's a five. She's not important. Oh, Batrider to be picked up by IG. That's great. It's a way to start the fight. Batrider with Disruptor is always super nice. You Batrider, uh, Batrider with Disruptor and with Death Prophet because you lasso somebody, you expect the enemy team to start kind of like running in onto you. You blanket the uh, the back area of the Batrider with the silences. I mean, even Earth Spirit with Batrider is super nice too. So IG is looking like they have a very, very nice game plan coming in. Just needing that last yeah, it's super solid last hero to pull it all together. That last carry. For, yeah, what are they, what are they going to get for burning? That's the I would I wouldn't even mind if they they did go for like the burning morphling or something in this game. Mm. Could be pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, there's no there's no real like great lockdown. Yeah, it's just Ravage root and this root. light strike, but you know, very very easy to dodge. At least a couple of those. See what burning wants uh, to bring to the fray. Maybe something that that works off the back of having the disruptors catch potential, something that can fight early. They've got I think they've got so many options actually. Yeah. Depends on if they want to match up well versus the clinks. Do they want to deal with the lane more for Tidehunter? Is it going to be a Troll okay. Warlord? Okay. So way to take more objectives. They have both yes. Death Prophet and Troll Warlord now to be able to do that in this. They were kind of they were lacking a bit of physical damage. Sure, they had the Exorcism Ghost from Death Prophet, but other than that, it was everybody else was magical. So bring it all together with Troll Warlord and way to close the gap as well. If he closes the gap on clinks, Troll versus clinks, that's a pretty horrible matchup for clinks. He's not able to burst him down. Hellraisers leaving their secondary support to their final pit. Or the do they mind game us? I want to do a Lena CM support yeah, combo. Maybe. I mean, I mean, they, I've not seen a lot of Hellraisers games, so maybe they 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 are the kind of team to switch stuff up like that. They've like uh, what we were saying earlier. Yeah. They completely switched their nature of drafting. This is completely different approach. They were doing Sand King with silencers, and then the first day they were, they were doing Lycan with Bat Riders. Now they're yeah. They've been completely dissuaded from that idea. Hey, if, if everything... I mean, they are, what, 1 in 11 or whatever, right? So if everything else fails, you may as well try something completely new. Especially in this type of situation. What See do we got? Do. Something, something exciting. Come I'm on. sure they're going to Razor. Razor? <laughs> Somehow they'll throw a Razor in there. I mean, it, it, it doesn't look bad at all considering the rest of the draft. I mean, they, they, they love that, that hero. I know they love oh, that hero. Oh, they do? Okay, yeah. Okay, they do actually. Okay. Right? Swift. That's one of Swift Ending's most played. <laughs> but then that puts them in a weird spot, I guess. Unless they ran... Yeah, no, they could put the Razor mid, click safe lane. Meh, we'll see. They did change up the way that they've been drafting entirely, so I don't know what else... What other hero they could be favoring, because this is... I don't think they've actually picked like any of these heroes that they have right now. 
It's a completely new draft coming out. They picked Tidehunter once the first day, but that was pretty much it. They haven't had CM, they haven't had Lena, they haven't had Clinks. <laughs> just definitely feeling the waters. Just, yeah. So, I mean, it's the last few games for them. They might as well put yeah, it all out there. Some, yeah, try something a bit different. I should say, yeah. As obviously what they've had so far hasn't has not been working out. And they really need to pick up these last few wins, otherwise it uh, looks to be them in the bottom spot. And Cloud9 will get through. Yeah, I was going to see that matchup later on today, which is going to be ever so important. All right, so yeah, they're just picking the secondary support. Okay. We were hoping for some some, some crazy, crazy stuff, but, but okay. And I guess the Slada, obviously Slada clinks as a combo, very nice. I mean, Slada clinks out the Lena as well. It's having that physical potential and uh, with the vision and the great range that Lena has got a good shot but overall it it definitely feels like IG had the uh, just a, just a more kind of solid kind of cookie cutter draft that you'd expect from the lineup and as you say Hellraiser's maybe switching it up a bit trying something a little different IG's draft is terrifying yeah it's <laughs> OP on one of his most comfortable heroes Bavoka on one of his most comfortable heroes XXS bat yeah XXS I mean, bat they have a clear cut initiator a clear way to start the fights they have three different heroes that can kind of start fights in a way in depending on the situations of course disruptors if they're pushing and they start backing up you can get a glimpse or spirit as well and then bat riders of course is the main catch well definitely gonna be gonna be tough for HR in this game Trying to see how these lanes will match up. I'm trying to think how it goes. Lena should be okay, but I think Baboko will be playing around there, so he's definitely susceptible of dying if he steps too far up. Are we going to see one of the sides trying to get like the 1v1 between the bat and the tide and have an aggro try there? Aggro with clinks sounds a little weird. With okay. clinks and CM um, sounds a little bit too weak. But it would not be nice in terms of forming, forcing the air spirit to kind of stay away from the mid lane. Or I think say, they just don't have the heroes really to. Yeah, I don't think they have the. Clint Clint and aggro is just awkward, because if they do see, like, if you're out of position, they can really easily kill you. You're like the squishiest hero in the game early on. Prepare Let's see what the plan is. I mean, yeah, indeed, at the moment, looks to be standard stuff. Thirty-three heading down towards the bottom. Oh, they actually do see Baboka placing that mid lane ward, so they will actually have the advantage for that one. They'll be able to deal ward that one and get their own mid ward, nicely placed. And we'll see what kind of movements Baboka can make. I mean, definitely the mid lane is where, as you mentioned, there's a lot of threatening potential between this Earth Spirit and Death Prophet. Yeah. I almost feel like they can leave the clinks at the start if they want to do that because Bat Riders are already bound to get experience. CM, Slaughter, clinks. I mean, if they fully commit to being up there as a tri lane, they could they can zone him a bit, but I don't think that's the best approach because he's gonna he's bound to get something anyway as his bat. So I think maximizing is great. CM can just start and start as a jungler. Slaughter can start mid, make sure that Lena gets a good gets a good advantage coming out. That'll probably be the best approach for each HR in this start. I mean, Baboka will probably start mid. That's the nature of yes. the Earth Spirit yeah. Death Prophet. All right, Char, maybe setting up to see if he can catch out XXS if he comes too close. J4 a little too far away to have potential of connecting with the route. So Horizons will be fine, taking their own rune, both sides not going to look to contest elsewhere. Unless they will just get the two for two. We'll see uh, how hard this mid lane is going to be for Kaiser. I mean, he's Lina. got the level one, he's got the level one uh, sentry ward, so he'll be able to eat that obs ward right away. That's true. Get a little nice bit of bonus bit, region. Yeah. They'll help a little bit. But just gotta make sure he doesn't get rolled on. And especially once Earth Spirit hits level 2. That's where the big kill threat is. Unless you're super out of position. Does he want to eat it? He does. Eats the ward. Gets the last hit. Good job. So HR does start with that full tri lane top. Yes. They want to yeah. try to make sure that XXS is zoned. And there is the bolt. The big camp is blocked oh. by IG. So. Unable to frostbite that. Oh, and mid lane. Pull it. Mid lane already. They get the connection. It's going to be close, but Poker. And they get Whoa! it. Neatly done as well there. I think he may have gone down first if he didn't do that salve play. Salving up underneath the tower just to make sure he lives long enough to secure the first blood for IG. Neat little plays there. Oh, boy. Already? Kaiser must have stepped up a bit too far. I didn't expect this to happen at level one. Like this, You know the Earth Spirit's going to start there mid. You absolutely know. You even have a ward there. So I don't think you should uh, allow that to kind of happen. But OP did sacrifice a... 
chunk of last hits to go for that kill. Only two and one. Missing majority of the first two waves. Boca, already straight back towards that mid lane. Knows that he can get away with it. We saw, obviously, last time Milan did respond, but very hard for him to do so himself in time. He does have level 2, so he's got the sprint and the crush to try and get into a better position. Yeah, I guess he wanted to get the level 2 before he made the move mid. Yeah. I think he sh I, I still think he should have started mid, personally, because they, they didn't really accomplish, you know, they, they can't shut down the bat top. He's already got, he's already level 2. He didn't get any experience discrepancy up there. And another mid laner to die. Like if there was a slaughter mid there, that would have completely been different. They would have killed the Earth Spirit, and Molina would have been living. And CM is now jungling anyway, so... Yeah. How's our Tide doing? I haven't really glanced at him. He should be getting a good, a good amount, like yeah, we said, right. versus the dual lane. Should be just fine. Yeah, he's actually pressuring Burning a little bit, too. Yeah, lots of attention drawn towards the mid lane. Kaiser with a haste frame. It's going to mean that IG... I don't know if you want to try anything whilst he's speeding about. Is now that level 2 on Boca though. Bottom lane, 33. Not getting that much CS, but. He's the getting the levels. The book is waiting for that history. There we go. He's gonna go for it now, straight away. And we have it. There's the boulder smash onto two. Looking for the crush. Milan does get it onto both of them. Holds them back. Kaiser survives, and he's got the south as well. This time, Milan. Very, very good there with the reaction and making it. I think it's very hard for these two to go. I mean, as you said, you know, if he was there earlier, it's, it, it is strong. Having this crush puts a full stop to anything that IG try in this mid lane. Yeah. Fairly even across the board. Both off laners getting a good amount. The thing is, the Batrider is getting a way bigger chunk of actual last hits. He's able to force way more than the Tide. Mid lane. Mid lane. They're trying again, but Boca's looking for the body blocks to help keep that siphon going. Kaiser turns around with the light strike, but again, yeah, this this Slardar's presence making it very hard for the kills to be successful. And Kaiser continuing to keep the lead in CS. Bottom lane, I'm gonna hunt down 33 in the tree line. He's joking. He is he's trying. He's gonna have anchor smash back up in a second. He's got the level two Kraken as well, so he's pretty tanky. There is a glimpse online for Q if he's able to find him, but. 33 is just, just striding through the trees. They're unable to find him. Oh, it looks like he's going to probably go down here now. Yeah, he's dead. And finally falls, burning as well. Make sure to come back into the creep wave and make sure he didn't lose too many CS at all. Both now the tide will struggle a bit because now it's phase boots up on the troll warlord. So he might actually just have to resort to jungle with an iron talon. And it looks like he may do that indeed. Yeah. Talon is there. Trade to the side jungle. Yeah, he got. He's already level four. It's not uh, not the, not bad at all. The problem is that yeah, this bat rider is halfway towards blink dagger already and almost level five. Just absolutely free farming in that top lane. As expected, though. Just a one k gold lead at the moment for IG. Silently start to see things pick up once. Hope he gets that level six. And look to put some pressure onto these towers, but Boca. So we're just the level two. Let's see if we can roam up towards the top lane, get something going. But there's the sword here from Hellraisers. So they know exactly what Baboka's planning to do in terms of movements. Yeah, if they can actually smoke up, if Baboka gets a dust and he smokes up toward top when Batrider hits like level five, they're actually going to do it now. The Klinks is super susceptible of dying to this because of how yeah. overleveled the bat is. It's all under this ward though. Do so they have dust? They do have dust and they have sentries, but yeah, under the ward. So, so we'll see how safely Swift Denning plays. He may have to just get deep back in those trees. Yeah, this is, I mean, XXS now is going to be absolutely, like, full free farming. Level 5 already, 700 gold from Blink Dagger on this bat. And now the Clink Sun HR is not farming at all. Tidehunter is resorting to jungling. Now is where the resources for IG is falling ahead. Yeah, However, to try and it. they do find Q straight up with the crush. There's a kill. All right, just pick it up. Swift ending gets the, gets the gold. Nicely done. Yeah, that ward, they knew that the rotation was coming in, so they pincer on top of the disruptor there. Good read coming out from them that they understand that they'd still be there instead of them trying to make a move for mid because they really wanted to kill this Clinks. And these wards are doing good. We're going to see Pavoka go in on the mid lane. Does actually get the kickback kick on Kaiser. There is the crush potential. Holds back OP, but he's got the oh, ghost line, now. Though. He's going to just move in and take down the Slardar. They do lose Pavoka in return as the Laguna Blade flies through from Kaiser. At least they get a trade. So, indeed, yeah, the 1v1 trade and 
they may be able to stop OP from doing too much with these ghosts in terms of pushing down the tower. We'll see how our well Kaiser can hold back. Does have to be careful with Q in the neighborhood looking for that glimpse. TP back in from Alan. And indeed, the ghosts are going to wear out and not much done in terms of pushing at all. So, yeah, hell raises. I actually love the fishies. I love that set. The, fishies the fishy exorcism, it, it's so cute. Bottom lane Milan, find himself an illusion. Gonna do a little bit of harassment here to Q, but Boboka isn't there, and also Q sends it back with the glimpse. Milan, though, trying to keep going. He ain't stopping. Um, we'll see if he. It's crazy. There's yeah, a shrine he, there, he too. Could be in shot. I mean, Boboka and Q and OP are coming across. There's no glimpse, but Boboka's got a roll in his stun. He's gonna be able to connect all the, the mark. But then now the Spirit Siphon with the slow stun coming in. He has to juke it out, but now he's gonna get right click the phase boots. Too much damage. While the sprint is active. Yeah, getting a little crazy there, Milan. Yeah. Does draw the attention of three of them. Space created, he says. Yeah, Swift ending continue to farm at top, but Bat Rider's got a seven minute blink dagger on. Seven and that is it a, that's is seven a, minutes. Oh my god. And that's a bat that was he, he wasn't even jungling, that was just straight up laning, wasn't it? He got I think he did like one or a two jungle caps, but, but yeah. mostly just laning. I mean he's had forty seven last hits yeah. on this bat. All three top net worths that down is, the way of IG already. That's gotta be one of the quickest bat blinks here at TI. I think we've had, yeah, I think we had one seven minute the first day okay. too, or an eight minute. But yeah, that's that one's super fast. You rarely see pre, I mean pre yeah. eight minutes. I mean, yeah, even has boots, two TPs, some clarities as well. He's feeling good. Oh, HR, do you catch Paboka? He heads up to the high ground. A lot of these walls have been setting up a lot for hell Hellraisers. They've had this one mid set it up. They did have a deeper one, and they did get dewarded by IG after they realised that they were aware of that last movement from Paboka. Yeah, let's see what XXS is going to get done with this. Where's he going to head? He's up on this top lane. He's. They did use Death Pack, so he's a bit tanky. Not sure if these two. Yeah, they should be able to actually with the slow enough. Yeah, Firefly and Sticky. It's, I mean, it's going to be close, but Voka's taking a lot of damage in return. He's just got to duke it out in the tree line, and he will. Yeah. Nicely done. I mean, j only just one more touch, and Boboka would have been gone. But I thought, yeah, I thought. Maybe the three-man committal could have been worth it, but with the Batrider being so overleveled, I mean, yeah. being having max firefly, the damage is is there for them to clean up that clinks. And they're already killing the safe laner, Owen. It's eight minutes in. That's a big concern. Yeah, mid lane OP, and there's a pressure on the tower. Has got the ghost back up if he wants to fight and push. He's just beating on it. And during all this, now Burning has picked up the phase boots, picked up the morbid mask, jungle time. Disruptor suffered suffer in levels. Give him the lane. Get him that level six, which we need for the team fights. And he'll get it pretty quickly because I don't think they can really invade him too well to kill that disruptor. Same kind of movement coming out, gonna be from Swift Ending. Uh, he's gonna go to jungle, maybe make some roaming with the next death pack and let the Slardar get that level six online for that corrosive haze. It's the nice thing is HR does have, you know, they've gush, they've corrosive haze and clinks. So the Roshan, they can get some sneak, sneaky Roshans once they get to their levels online. Boka and OP smoking out from behind the middle lane. Gotta take that safe lane tower. Should be able to secure it here with the ward down. Q needs to watch himself now. They, they go top, they see nobody there. It's the big indicator of, hey, I'm gonna get ganked in the safe lane. See how heavy Hellraiser is going. They are sending Swift Ending and J4 down there to join 33. Fortification will come through. But OP should be able to indeed stick around, finish off this tier 1 tower. Yeah, it's just a question of what Hellraiser can do in return to punish. Q to wants to actually one. stay. He wants yeah. to set up for a kill here. They've, they've got XXS coming in. He's got Lasso back up. They see the slaughter mid. Perfect kill potential. J4's going to scout it out, but already the field's down. Swift ending his trap. Silence onto the Tide Hunter from the side to make sure that there's no ravage immediately. Swift ending getting jumped upon. Flame broken back. Oh boy. That's the clinks down. Maybe they can get even more Bavoka. The rotations though. He's going to be off the mark with the boulder smash. Glimpse there to pull Milan away from the rest of the team. 33's trying to chase down Q. He does have the ravage. Doesn't need to use it there for disruptor killers. He will get it. Pavoka rolling across, but he's going to get blocked off. And Hellraisers will take them both down. Getting the two support kills. They did lose the clinks. They did lose tier one up top. But they are, may be in position themselves now to finish off this tier one on the bottom lane. Yeah, at least they're going to get a trade here. This is That's a good move by HR there in the end. But IG, that's a that's a hard... That's a like hard way to read. Like HR had no idea that IG was going to defend that tower. They showed everybody top. They even showed the troll mid. They're like, oh, okay. IG sacking this tower. Yeah. But whew, just really keen to fight, no matter what. 
Yeah, this is the Clink's suffering now super hard. The first two rotations work successfully on him. And he's going to be dropping pretty far down on that net worth. She do not want as a Clink's this early. No, it's it's going to be tricky for Swift Edding to get back in with this start. Especially when you consider, you know, those last fights as well. Burning's not turning up. He is just focusing on the farm. Yeah, Clink's is more of a hero that you need kills. Yeah. You don't just snowball farm. You don't have ways of flash farming. Sure, you can, you can kill creeps quickly, but you can't, you know, kill like multiple creeps at the same time where burning he can he can farm way faster than use a troll warlord ex especially with the mask of madness build Boca nearly hitting that level six on the earth spirit bat xxs straight for the four star next after the blink this game you have got level six actually ready and waiting on Q. Don't want to try and find something to happen with the static so it's going to be pretty big we talked about how how good that is against Hellraiser's lineup. Yeah. In these team fights. His only job. They can they can even just lasso up at Tidehunter, pull him into Static Storm, and that job is done. But Boca top. Trying to make a play onto him. Clinks and Tidehunter are there. Boca knows something's up. The sentry wards down. He's out of there. Straight away, no hesitation from him. Just join up with the rest of the team. Maybe they themselves They've can They've got everything. Yeah, they're, it's time to fight. Exorcism, Lasso. They're only missing, of course, with Boca's ult, but they've got the Static Stone, which is more important this, at this instance in the game. They're actually going to make their way into Roche. Maybe they make a smoke gank and they just let Burning solo Roche. Looks they, like that's yeah, going to be it. Yeah, they can get a kill out of this as well. They know where Clinks was. Away. Oh, God. Swift ending. They're going to know he's oh, up he's there straight dead. away with the dust. It connects. He's trying to run, but the poker closes the gap. There's the Ravage to catch onto three of them, but the glimpse back is perfect from Q. Catches Swift ending in the Static Storm. That's the Clinks down. They should be able to get the tide out of this as well. He's going to try for the TP out, but the Lasso is still there from XXS as IG take two. And of course, all the meanwhile, whilst this happens, Burning still in the pit on verge of finishing off Roshan, getting that Aegis. Oh gosh. Big move there for RG. HR just had no idea anything's going on. They're all just kind of like CM's jungling, Lino's just pushing lane, Slardo's just kind of running around. They were not together. They were not prepared for IG there whatsoever. It's, I mean, it's only a 2k lead, of course, for IG so far, but True. the way that that kind of happened, the nature of that, I'm starting to feel very concerned for HR. They really need to just wait till the slaughter has Blink Dagger pretty much now in order to be able to take those kind of pickoffs. He's about 500 gold away, so he's not super far away. But other than that, I don't really see too many good things for them right now because Clinks is just super shut down. Provoker. He's going to get spotted out by this ward. Milan looking to open up, but the silence there. Beautifully done there from OP. Making sure that there's no light strike to follow through. But Boca will still go down as he takes the Laguna Blade. But Kaiser almost certainly will pay of his life as the three of IG surround him. The rest of Hellraiser's force back. OP, just no fear to use that exorcism. Anytime a fight happens, he just bops it. I mean, they, they maybe could get a bit of damage done to this tier one on the bottom lane with it. He's, he's in position. It's gonna wear uh, off. I, I guess it's gonna be gone. I think they're gonna go come down there anyway. Yeah. It looks like burning starting to beeline toward mid. I thought he was gonna make it go toward bottom, but okay. HR farming some some ancient stacks. Yeah, all spotted out as well. There as Q gets in a sneaky up ground ward. Thanks for the D ward as well. Nothing out at the moment, but as we can see now, IG just getting some really nice vision over the happenings of Hellraisers. 100 gold for Slaughter Blink. That's going to be pretty big for them to yeah. actually have a clear-cut initiator because right now they still don't have it. Tidehunter is not that option, unfortunately. He's didn't have a bad like a bad time in lane, but it just takes a while to get set up. And oh, they man, could take here it, it comes. I mean, the he's, he's a tide and he's tanky, but with four heroes coming in, good luck surviving that. They'll drop the Static Storm and the Lasso. Everything being thrown down upon him. And 3-3 three, three is down. IG picking up another kill and just really, really showing off the strength that they have on these core heroes. Burning. It's really the fear of also picking, you know, yeah. when you pick Tidehunter first too, this is some of the things that do happen. The, nat the natural counter picks do come out, like that Disruptor. It makes your life pretty miserable. Smoke coming out, that means they must have the Slaughter Blink soon. They do. He's about to grab it from base. Maybe they can try to make something happen with this, as long as they have good vision, which they've had decent vision, but it's just IG making the first moves. And 
they're making the moves at a just better pace because it's IG making moves when all their ulti's up, but there's no HR plays that while their ulti's are down. They're not able to find them so far. So they have to make some aggressive plays with this blink and with the Lena Bloodstone just picked up. Yeah, this is yeah, the perfect time to, to try and make something happen. They gotta go time, honestly. Like they, they they shouldn't be farming like jungle and stuff like this. Okay, he wants to finish up his hood, but that gives IG's cooldowns all time to come back up and everything's already now gonna be up already, so they missed they kinda missed the big window here and I'm sure that IG's gonna respond to when they see this Lena down bottom. Yeah, exactly. that's already setting up. Plus one, and they can get a kill down and we'll see if they're interested in taking it up and yep, yeah, OP. We'll come down to clear this wave out. Already though, Hellraiser is backing off. They do have that smoke on my land. As you say, we're really kind of expecting to see Hellraisers try and make some sort of effort as a team to, to pull off some sort of catch and gank. They had to like gank away from the Troll Warlord during that time, but now it's how much time left on Aegis. They still got about another minute for IG. And the, the, the ward that IG places from Boca spots the whole rotation out from HR. But Boca's fine, and IG continues to farm. They do not feel rushed really to do much, because, I mean, they have a really strong lineup going into the later stages of the game. Matches up super well versus HRs. They have better objective takers. And, yeah, they're at a quite a big lead right now. BKB finished on Troll Warlord. Now we might even see IG just go for some kind of plays, because... They are incredibly strong with this. They've got Solo Crest Yules on Death Prophet, BKB Troll. The smoke looks like it's going to be seen by the ward, though, from HR. So HR does know that this is coming. Can they properly set up for it, though? I think they're still probably going to lose one hero. Unless they all just really hide. And it's going to be Milan. He just goes straight into that. I mean, as you said, they knew it was there. They may even lose more if, depending on how deep IG want to go. Now, let's good like they're just going to turn and push down mid. I mean, with the creep wave already here, they'll easily take the tier two. See if they want to push their luck to try and go for more. They still, okay, Aegis is now gone. All right, expires now. I'm burning, so IG will, will back up. Continue to get these objectives, get the push going. OP, pretty tanky. You know, we're having this full solo crest annuals, he's, he's quite a slippery, hard to bring down hero. Yeah. They still have... HR still has okay, like, magic burst, but... They're just not making the moves. They've got enough... They've got more smokes now online. They, they're they all kind of grouped up. I'm waiting for them to make some smoke actions with this Slardar Blink Dagger, but still not doing it. They're now running under vision. They know IG just smoked into their jungle, and now they're walking through their jungle without smoking it. This is... I mean, you should know this has happened. You know that IG just placed wards up there. They just walked into your jungle. So I, HR... Definitely needs to be more aware of their movements and their actions in relativeness to IG. Yeah, Swift needs to get a Deso done. I mean, obviously with the Desolator and the Corrosive Haze, it is a lot of damage if he's able to sit in place and and shoot someone down. Yeah. But it's, as long as he doesn't get isolated, hard. that's the thing, is that yeah. IG has so many different ways to isolate heroes with their lineup. Be it the Troll, be it the Bat, be it the Disruptor. There's three different ways they actually can just get one hero out on the side burst him down and with a troll warlord with BKB they've got nothing to stop this guy he can actually just run and beeline to on top of this clinks and this Lena which is a huge problem for HR need them to be I mean they're too far away for getting any of these items but I was saying like some four staffs and stuff to be able to break the spirit siphon peel them away from all that but not even a blink dagger coming out anytime soon for Tidehunter he just goes for the pipe to try to deal with that heavy magic damage lineup that IG drafted for the first four picks but yeah, HR making no aggressive moves. It's just IG doing all the dictation of the pace of this game. And here we go, XXS. They are playing under a ward here, but he's still hasted up. He's looking to try to grab somebody, but there's still a tier one down there. IG will just be objective gamers. Take out the Ob's ward. Maybe we just see IG actually grab a gem next. Hey, right, here comes that smoke we've been waiting for. There we go, with there the There we go. They were waiting on the desk, and now how races are gonna smoke themselves. The scan comes out. Catches him. Oh, they know. That is unfortunate. There's no one showing top, no one showing mid, no one showing in the jungle with uh, with uh, IG's two wards, so they know something's up. So they had to throw that scan out there, and they back up. It looks like IG aren't going to get caught out at all by this movement. They don't have good. They don't have great vision in the area after losing their losing their ward. They have the lane ward now, so they'll see as soon as that smoke breaks. Smoke pops. They see. The two heroes with it instantly. 
Yeah, Hellraise is just at a bit of a loss here. Spent a lot of time there, but at least they used the smoke and they were trying to take the fight. Yeah, they're, they're gonna have to reset. They do have another smoke, but as we've seen, they've got to be so careful how they use it. As IG just a step ahead. And the efficiency much better here from the side of IG. Yeah, XXS up top, already this half of the jungle being cleared out and down bottom. Baboka is being hunted by Kaiser. He is going to go straight for the roll of the TP out. Whew. Pushed him into the tree, but yeah, yeah, he was he was in a perfect spot there, <laughs> hidden away. I don't think there was any chance that Kaiser could have even guessed where he was. There, no, with the way like, the cliff pushes him down. Yeah, he checks anyway, yeah. just in case. He's like, something, something. That was weird. That was weird. Kaiser, Shadow Blade finished up, he's doing okay on net worth. He's keeping even with the Death Prophet, but everyone else on his team is starting to fall further and further behind. Maybe he finds a book here, but XXS is positioned here. He knows it's up. He knows Kaiser's oh. going to go for this. XXS is reading it like he's a ready. Book. Gets him. The Boca dies though. Yeah, he gets the kill. Can he get out though, Kaiser? That's the question. He's gonna try and make his way out, but he's yeah, got the, the XXS suicide. moving around. Oh, he goes for the what? TP. What? That's crazy. Thought he was just suicide there. I mean, Batrider's damage is oh dear, pretty no. damn high. Yeah, that's, yeah, as you say, should have killed himself. Probably. Should have killed himself. Oh yeah, it's a 6k gold lead now. Kaiser gets a kill, but at the end of the day, definitely not worth it. I mean, XXX could have... He, he knew it was coming. He maybe could have saved Boca there. Maybe could have force staffed him <laughs> or something while he blinked in. A little bit of a slow reaction. Maybe he was looking elsewhere on the map. Just for the quick second. Didn't expect it to happen right then. Okay, a little bit of damage on bottom, but right away, all of HR is responding and IG gives them some respect. They don't want to be silly with their aggression but during especially when burning is just I mean, this, this, this tempo massive. is great yeah this yeah. this is the perfect kind of game for them they don't really care while burning is just literally hitting neutral creeps the whole game i'm mean, just look how far ahead it, it, the difference between him and swift ending is absolutely massive this yeah. Klinx is just not in the place that he needs to be almost double they yeah, almost doubling him up with the diffusal blade already finished too bkb yasha he can close the distance on anybody super easily now and would you look at that Roshan has spawned. Aegis and Cheese. Burning is was that sitting, a short just going in. Yeah, it was. I actually didn't see how short it was. I didn't get the time. I mean, either way, one. this is a great new strategy. Is Hellraisers with the way that they've been playing, unlikely to to look to try and take this fight. And yeah, Burning just sits in there, full sustain. He doesn't even have to worry for help. Very easy, Rosh. HR just yeah, they can't do anything. <laughs> they just. Except that. But now more BKBs are coming out. The match community to deal with that Ravage is going to be there. And yeah, the Titan is still 500 gold away from that Blink Tiger, so no big initiation coming from him. They know XXS is positioned up on that tree line. So they will sack this tower as well. Kaiser will try to trade. Swift Ending is just desperately trying to get a BKB. But they're, tr they're trying to trade. They're However, try though, Kaiser. Oh, Baboka comes in. Yeah, he's got the dust. Has the silence. There's the vision for the glimpse back. And this is a dead Lena. XXS joining the party as well. This time we'll get the suicide. Let's put the bloodstone deny. XXS had lasso there, right? I guess he didn't want to use it. At least they wanted to force the suicide. But... Yeah, yeah, I guess yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, could have certainly secured it, but yeah, it's whatever. I mean, I guess when they're at this uh, at this point as well, it's like. Uh, they, they, they knock the bloodstone charges down. Yeah, it's extra I mean, gold is like whatever. Yeah, it's. They don't need the golden XP. I guess. I guess why not? Whatever. Put that not, a, not a big deal. Cool down. Yeah, it's, it's not a big deal. And they can save the last over now. These two, these two towers. Titan does have blink. However, IG is all ready to battle. All they're missing is the Earth Spirit Ultimate, but that's not needed. Siege continues. Burning with Aegis and Cheese. And about to have a full Manta style finished up for him too, nice. to remove the Corrosive Haze. Crazy. The Roots mid lane, Hex XS, looking for Elon. He's got the glimpse too. Throws him back into the static storm. Most of the static storm is already gone. Ooh. Yeah, he's gonna just go for the TPI, he's gonna make it. Yeah, he's, he's alive. Alright, nice, he played that by Manta. He alive. actually almost ticks out to the Flame Break in the base. Dropped down to 40 HP. That was really well played by him, the TP. A little bit of 
some some misspell usage there by IG, but whatever. Well, I mean, I, I guess that's why we saw him hold on to the glimpse that long. Yeah. Maybe was aware that he was going to try for the TP out and tried to sort of bait him into using it first. Yeah, it looks like they missed the lasso into Static Storm, or the kinetic field okay. just wasn't up in time and he just walked out of it. And then, yeah, just awkward. Slight mistake. A little bit costly for IG, their ultimates, but HR isn't, you know, they're not capitalizing if one of those ultimates are down because they're playing into an Aegis Cheese and they're just super afraid in this game. I'll tell you what, though, I swear this is the the most inactive CM I've seen in a while. I mean, J4's been loving jungling. the jungle. It's all he's, he's been doing the whole game. <laughs> and has he come into lane once? I think I mean, he's, he's got two assists. He, he has, but. I saw no, him I, test I thought, I thought, like, on somebody. You know, we saw, like, what Puppy's Crystal Man and Puppy plays. I remember it very that. Greedy, yeah. But this is, like, even greedier. J4 is just oh, not interested in any action. Boboka, nice little roll out there. And the Bat Rider has a BKB gonna survive. too. The Ravage does absolutely nothing. Boboka gets the silence out onto two. Swift ending is taken down. They'll try and TP out on the tide, but they've got more than enough control with a glimpse of the Yule Scepter to hold him back. And Hellraisers, they lose a second. This is looking pretty rough indeed. I mean, sort of as we expected, IG. They, they, they've just got a perfect draft, really. It's, it's it's IG in their comfort zone. IG in their comfort zone, and yeah. I mean, it's a clear-cut team that is just a better team overall. Yes. I mean, IG is just making oh, no question team that, decisions, yeah. team movements, while HR is... They're making just individual individual plays. It's not looking like really team-oriented. Actually, I'll be completely honest. This is, HR looks... A lot shakier than yesterday and the other days. Those days they actually had some games where which were a bit closer. This one is they're not making aggressive moves at all. They're just put in a position where they're like, can't fight. I just and I thought they picked the draft of Tidehunter so that they could fight, but they're unable to. I'm not a fan of the clean, so I, I really I'm not a that fan of hero it is just it can be so underwhelming if he doesn't get that start. He's like like you know, Ursa has there's heroes like Ursa can have that issue, you know. If they don't get the kills, they they they're gonna fall behind, but Clinks is just even more so prone to having that problem of just getting to this point where he's unable to contribute much at all. They will get the Laguna in. Oh, they got come. Kaiser. Oh, look, immediately there with the silence, making sure there's no reaction. XXS jumps yeah. in, has the lasso onto Kaiser. He's gone. They have lost OP on the Dev Prophet, but it doesn't matter with Burning still alive. Just feeding through them all. They've got the setup onto J4. J4 is going to fall as well, almost certainly. Yet yeah, Burning commits onto him. 33 is trying to send back the others, but Q has a Ghost Scepter. Heads back. 33 tries with the TP out, but the glimpse is there to break it. The boulder smash is oh, there already. Oh, and right away. To set up onto Swift. He's going to get caught out by the movement from Baboka, and they're just going to tap out it's now. Fine. GG as IG do just absolutely roll away with this game one. Hellraisers, as we said in the draft, maybe some of you have Baboka spamming that that, that just, just happened. happened. Yeah. My goodness. They gotta try something different again. I feel. No, no more, no more clinks. No, no more, more clinks. clinks. I think don't pick clinks with Tide. No. If you want to be having a five v five type of lineup, you can't pick a hero like that. No. That just doesn't, does that doesn't want a five v five whatsoever. Especially when you've revealed the Tide Hunter first two. I think that's also a bit of a concern. Revealing Tide Hunter first two, you allow yeah. IG to just counter pick it. Yeah, that was it. an early, early so, pick indeed. IG did adjust though really well versus HR's draft, but yeah. IG definitely a lot to gain or a lot to. <laughs> move forward from this one because they did not look yes. very good in this So one. this will be uh, bad news for Hellraisers and Cloud9 I believe will be rejoicing as every loss from Hellraisers is good for them. Yep. They are the two teams that are right down at the bottom at the moment. But absolutely, we'll see what happens in game two, see what happens with the draft, see what... I wouldn't be surprised if Hellraisers do target some of these heroes we've seen trying to make sure at least the Death Prophet, the Death Prophet, the Bat and the Earth Spirit, definitely the three heroes that I think if you're playing against IG, you you want to either be grabbing yourself or taking out with the bands. We'll see if they do that. As a game two will be around the corner. Don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. IG versus Hellraisers. Game two up next.